Hey, good morning guys, so whatever time it is for you, we are on Kolbrong Island. That's uh, it's a very small island located um, just off the coast of Cambodia. And we are staying in that tent just behind me, um, overlooking the beach and all the tents. Uh, we got here by the speedboat, which costed us $20 per person for a return ticket. And we paid $5 for this tent, so uh, quite cheap, that's for two of us. All right, I think we're just gonna leave our luggage and go smash the beach. grab some lunch. Here in um, Cambodia you get prices in dollars very often. Green curry for him. Green curry. Thank you. Hi. So me and Indo decided to rent a scooter for two hours so we can go around the islands and explore some beaches and the road is Ridiculous, <laughs> you will see it in a moment. Uh, that's a perfect example of the road that we have to ride on. Hold on, ah. off road, baby, off road. Now it's just a rocky bit, and in the moment, we're going to face the family of buffaloes. Apparently, on this island, there have been some attacks on, on people by um, the crazy buffaloes that, that live here. Going, keep going. That's the crazy one. Just, just record the crazy one. Another encounter with a wild, with a wild animal. This time in its natural surroundings. Water buffalo in the water. Don't stop. Take a moment to enjoy the beautiful sounds of the jungle. On this island, it's believed that there are over 20,000 different species of birds. You can hear the crickets. You can hear the birds. I just hope that there's no water buffalo following in us. And you can hear the buffalo coming. You said the same thing I told you. My eyes are clear, there's no secret. I want to know, was it serious? We have a problem. We just run out of we just run out of petrol, we run out of gasoline, and we are stuck probably somewhere in the middle of the island, surrounded by the jungle. We're stuck. It's getting dark. Mm. Not very interesting. Oh, you probably can't see me anyway, but anyway, I'm just gonna say what's happening. So it's nearly completely dark and we were lucky enough that somebody stopped by um, to call the taxi driver, I think, and he is be, he'll be coming in hopefully 20 minutes. 
Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you for your help. Uh, for Lee. Yeah, but this is it, though, yeah? Can you put, okay, I want to look for my phone, please. Yeah. In the middle of bloody nowhere. That's the bike. Empty in petrol, completely. Not enough gas in it. Anyways, thank you for rescuing no, us. No, no, no problem. Uh, I'm, I'm forgot to give you my phone number also. Before yeah. you leave the bike, I can... Uh... Do you have any change? We only have 20. So, we've made it, thankfully, all in one piece. We had some problems obviously on the way. I had to go very, very slowly because the, the headlight was pretty poor. And then we got lost on the way as well. But anyways, we're here. We had to pay $10 for, for that, for like a bottle of petrol, which is probably the most expensive petrol I've ever paid for. Yes, I need it clear, my best friend. It's an easy to show. With the weight of the world on my shoulders I know I thought the good thing about staying in, in a tent is we don't need to worry about the bed bugs as we don't have a fucking bed. <laughs> I might not use this.